Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you a quick and very easy makeup tutorial using almost all the products that I got last week from Brugal Makeup. So I have my brows ready, but I'm gonna prep my eyelids with my concealer. Just a couple of drops. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to blend it. Or maybe you can use a very soft brush for this. Just be very, very kind with your skin because this is a very, very um, delicate part of our face. And also when you take your makeup off, don't just rub the, the makeup remover on, on your lids. Do it very, very carefully. Okay, so I'm gonna set my concealer with this white eyeshadow from the 600 palette called Sky and Sea. This is a very sheer eyeshadow, so don't think that it's gonna be all white. I never use white eyeshadows for anything, but this one is really, really pretty and classic, so don't be scared to try it. See? From the same palette, I'm gonna use this grayish blue and I'm gonna apply it as a transition shade. I'm actually using the brush that comes with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna blend that eyeshadow with my blending brush. This is the Stila number nine. Part mate. No, oh, I'm really bad with accents. I've been watching this Netflix show called Back with the X. I just watched like five episodes, but I'm dying to see the ending. Would you go back with your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend? I don't know, that show made me think, like, would I do that? So now I'm gonna use Dirty Blonde on the lid. Now I'm gonna use Cairo. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And the pigment is just perfect. Now I'm gonna go with this dark blue from the 600 palette and I'm just going to apply it on the outer V. And then I'm gonna fill it up and blend it with the other eyeshadow that I have, the grayish blue on the crease. And then on this part, you can do the shape you want. Some people like very caddish eyes, uh, some people like them rounded. It depends on your style, your taste, and the shape of your eyes. Now I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. And now we're gonna use this black eyeshadow with shimmer and we're going to apply it on the outer V just to get more depth on that area. Now I'm gonna use this shimmery white and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyebrow to make my eyelids look bigger. Now we're gonna apply car, Cairo, Cairo, Cairo underneath our eyes and a little bit in the inner corner and the dark blue on the outer side of our eyelashes. Don't forget to blend this line with this other line on the, on the lid. And we're gonna apply a little bit of the black eyeshadow with the glitter on top of that to blend everything, but just on the side of the lower lashes. If you have a little fallout, just clean it up before you put on the concealer. Now I'm gonna apply the concealer. And like I said, if you wanna use your fingers, that's fine. A lot of people do that. Um, or you can use a brush. If you like wearing foundation, you can do that too. I never use foundation unless I have an event or uh, unless I have to shoot something like a commercial, TV show, um, or if I have like a very special event, like a wedding or something where I know there are going to be photographers. I'm gonna apply some setting powder. And you have to do this before your concealer creases. 
Okay, now we're ready for the eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Tarte Sex Kitten. Sex Kitten, Sex Kitten. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to embrace my accent because accents are kind of sexy. Now that I've been watching all those Australian shows, I'm like, okay, I love accents. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara. A little bit of eyeliner in the waterline. You know, I don't like doing this, but this looks so special that I have to. Okay, we're almost ready. I'm gonna put on my falsies and I'll be right back. So now I have my lashes on and I have some contouring and um, blush. I don't have any highlighter because I don't want this look to have any highlighter. I like it matte. I'm gonna put on my Whirl from MAC. Whirl, 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 Whirl. And I'm gonna use Brugal's lip gloss in number 62. And I'm gonna mix it with number 54. So I think it came out really well. It's something different. There are colors that I would never use. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, leave me your comments down below. <laughs> don't forget that I love you guys. See you in my next video and have an amazing, amazing week. Mwah.